Hey guys, welcome to Simproof, Fry speaking here and I had the luck to get a pre-release key of the new Sims 4 Cats and Dogs pack that will come out this November the 10th, so only two days until you get the pack in retail. And yeah, I got the code to show you some features of the new pack guys and I started of course with a cute little dog because I'm a huge dog person and I so wanted to do a little dog, oh my god. So this is the first thing that I actually really did when I opened the game. You will see a little screen coming in that explains a little bit about the pack and what it does and what you can actually do. But I will focus solely on the create a dog here and then in another video, which I of course will link down below, I will do a cat so the cat lovers have their little video as well. So here you can already see me that I chose the Pomeranian as a breed. You can choose between so many pre-done, like already in the game breeds. And I thought that Pomeranians have like a nice little cute, I don't know, body kinda. And they are fluffy and they are just, yeah, they are just cute. So I wanted to use that breed as like my default dog in my opinion. So you can change between different breeds and then go from there. Of course, it is just like it is in Create a Sim. You can toggle on the nose and drop, uh, like drag and drop on the ears and all that kind of stuff. There are lots and lots of features that I myself also had first like to find. It's a little bit fiddly at the f like for the first time. I couldn't find so much stuff and I was totally overwhelmed while doing this dog and I was just like every five seconds I was oh my god he's so cute he's so cute I was just so in love with this cats and dogs oh my god so if you want to get this pack I can highly recommend you if you are a animal lover and there are so many options that you can do here so for example you can toggle everything from the nose to the ears to the eyes you can change the fur type. There are at least, I think, eight different fur types. I think there are even more. So if you want to have like a naked dog, you can do this. If you want to have like a really fluffy dog, I guess this is like what I chose here. You can do this. It's <laughs> amazing. And also the presets of all the ears and everything is just amazing. There's also a detail mode like there is in the Create Day Sim. So you can get really close to the face of the dog and yeah toggle like little things like the pupil you can even like do some stuff on the ears and all that stuff like the little details and it's really really cute so then i chose um a different kind of fur which you can also see here and yeah it's like so different so you can actually like do a default pomeranian but make him naked and then make him black for example and do lots of freckles on them it's really easy to create like different dogs and even mixed breeds and all that kind of stuff and it's really really cute it's super easy to find yeah, like your way at first i was a kind of little bit overwhelmed because i didn't even know what kind of dog i wanted to do but oh my god this is just so cute and i'm so so happy that i could get a pre-release code to show you guys so ah, it's just it's just cute <laughs> So if you have done like the default form of the body, for example, you can choose the uh, tail. There are at least like, I think five different tails, like a long one, a short one, a, like a little thing that looks like, a, I don't know, like a little spiral. I have no idea what the actual animal terminology is here. I'm not a vet, but <laughs> it's just really easy to create one and you can even like toggle on the tail and all that kind of stuff. So then I chose the, well, at least I looked of course at all the different types of, I would say like colors or uh, coats and you can even do like the fox coat on a Pomeranian for example or a bulldog and everything. So that's pretty easy and I really like doing this. It was like so, I couldn't even like decide what kind of fur coat I wanted to do because they all look kind of cute. And then you can go into paint mode, I guess it is called. So you can also do like paint the freckles by yourself. This is something that we never had in The Sims 4 before. This is absolutely the best of the of this create a dog, like create a pet feature tool. Oh my God, you can like paint only on one side. I personally 
chose to do symmetric so he doesn't look as messed up because I was like super overwhelmed and I already knew that my dog will look kind of weird and I also wanted to try out every kind of freckle and every kind of brush there is so if you paint like I said you can choose to just paint like on one side by hand and then you can also toggle it to be symmetric which I did here and you can choose between different colors of course you can also choose pink or black there is like a whole rainbow that you can choose so there's no preset colors you can actually choose between the whole spectrum of all colors which is something that we didn't have in the sims 4 yet for all the create a sim and in build and buy mode so this is the first time we get this and this is why you can also do like a super colorful rainbow dog or a red dog or blue dog or an turquoise dog whatever you can choose whatever you like and you can also toggle all the brushes and all the you know freckles that you can put on him in every color you actually like so you can really go crazy and create a sim mode and it's really possible to create your own dog or your own pet in general so if your pet for example has like a little spot on like I don't know the behind or something then uh, yeah this is what you can do so you can really it is really possible to create your own little pet or a pet that you actually have or ha that you have seen somewhere else and this is just the best of this whole I would say like create a pet because you have so many opportunities what you can do here and it's just crazy good so I myself wanted to have lots and lots of freckles and I wanted him to look like super feral almost. So I wanted to use like leopard freckles or a little Dalmatian spots on him to make him look as if he's a mixture between a feral cat and, or a wild cat and a dog kinda because his ears kinda looked also like, a, like some cat ears and I just loved it. I thought it looked super cute. And yeah, you can uh, like browse, if you are in the paint mode, you can browse between brushes. Uh, I guess it's called stencils and stamps. So the brushes are just what I did here. First, it's the draw tool. So you can choose between different kind of brushes and then you can draw on your dog with these kinds of brushes. Then you get stamps. Stamps are pretty easy. You can't draw like draw a line, but you can Put them like stamps on your dog which is perfect for freckles there are also little spots and hearts and little symbols of course there's a plum bob for example so you can totally go crazy and make like a heart freckled pink dog for valentine's day or something like this so you can go super crazy in this create a sim tool like create a pet tool it's it's just i love it so i personally draw a little bit first like if you want to have like darker or wider ears or something like this you can use the draw, draw tool and if you want to have like little freckles or something that is just little spots you I would totally recommend to use these stamps because these are just also amazing you can also rotate the brush and rotate the stamps and make them smaller and bigger so you can really go into more detail here and I was kind of overwhelmed like through filming this whole thing this is by the way also like the first thing that I did so I haven't even got into build mode yet because the embargo lifts so early and it's like super early in the morning in Germany right now so yeah I didn't even have my coffee yet I think you can really hear this in my in my voice but yeah um, he's just it's just really easy to do whatever you like to do as a pet I think we are going to see like my prediction is that we are going to see lots and lots of wild animals that maybe kind of look like from the body shape like a cat or a dog but then paint it on with all their freckles and whatnot to make them look I don't know maybe like I personally have thought it would be really cute to have like a red panda for example as a cat or something of course there's a dog preset that is the fox and there's also a cat preset that is the raccoon and by the way if you are into the create a pet mode you can toggle between four different poses that your dog or your cat is performing so it is much easier to have a look at them because they kind of you know they move kind of a lot so if you draw on them 
they kind of move so sometimes I made some mistakes and it's pretty easy to erase them or just go like one step back and just try it again so it's super cute so there's like sitting pose there's one that I don't know what it's called in German we call it Männchen to stand up so where, where the pets are standing up and one where they are laying down on the side so it's easier maybe to paint on their bellies or look at their bellies and all that kind of stuff I was so in love with this tool and I think I'm going to do lots and lots of create a pet videos now which is something that I already predicted years ago because this is usually how it works I only build in the Sims 4 and once the pet pack releases that's the time when I spend lots and lots of time in the create a pet mode oh my god that was like how it was since Sims 1 and I just oh my god it's just pets pets is my favorite stuff pack even though that I'm a builder and usually all these pets pack don't come with lots of build options but like create a pet is always my most favorite besides building of course <laughs> So yeah, this is my little cute uh, doggy, and I po put him in various poses. Of course there will be lots and lots of screenshots that I took at the end of this video. I couldn't film like a video too because I was kind of, you know, oh my god, I have to check out the cats now. <laughs> so I will put like lots and lots of screenshots that I took here in cast to, for you guys to have a better look at it. For the traits, for the poses, for of course there are little cute like colors and outfits for your cats and dogs so I will put that in there too so please stay tuned. If you are more of a cat person there's also a cat video and I will link to it in the video description and also in the end screen of course for you guys for all the cat lovers out there. So yeah I really hope that you enjoyed this little cute video and kind of showcase you know and yeah be prepared for lots and lots of other cats and dogs videos and of course an awesome build and I will see you soon. Bye bye!